Have you ever wondered what types of crystals and minerals are found in the extreme conditions of the Antarctic and Arctic regions? The answer might surprise you. Despite the harsh and remote landscapes, these regions are home to some unique and fascinating mineral formations. But what geological processes contribute to this mineral diversity? Let's delve into this icy mystery. In the Antarctic, the geological processes are largely influenced by ancient rocks and occasional volcanic activity. One of the most intriguing discoveries in the Prince Charles Mountains is Nephilene cyanites. These are igneous rocks that hold a variety of interesting minerals, including some rare earth minerals. Moving on to the Shackleton Range we find kyanite. This blue silicate mineral used in ceramics and electronics has been spotted in this region. Another mineral that has made its mark due to its low melting point is cryolite, a mineral historically used in aluminum processing. Now, let's journey to the Arctic. Greenland is known for its fine quality water clear quartz crystals. Clear quartz and amethyst are some of the varieties of quartz discovered in the Arctic regions. Pyrite and chalcopyrite, sulfide minerals often associated with quartz veins, are other notable finds in the Norwegian Arctic and Greenland. Calcite crystals found in various forms and colors are common in the Arctic's sedimentary rocks, adding to the region's diverse mineralogy. We must also mention Greenlandite, a type of jade found in Greenland, which is highly prized for its aesthetic value and is a significant part of local indigenous art. Both the Antarctic and Arctic are also home to a variety of other minerals and metals. While these may not necessarily form crystals, they are of significant geological interest. For example, coal in Antarctica and iron ore in the Arctic. The presence of glaciers and the ongoing processes of glaciation and deglaciation in these areas expose ancient rocks and minerals. This creates opportunities for discovering crystals in moraines and other glacial deposits. However, it's crucial to remember that mineral exploration and collection in these regions are strictly regulated to protect these delicate environments. Many areas remain inaccessible, and collecting minerals may require special permits or even be entirely prohibited to preserve the pristine nature of these environments. So, while these regions may be remote and harsh, they are in fact treasure troves of geological wonders. Their unique conditions and processes have given rise to a range of minerals and crystals, each with its own story to tell. From the Antarctic's Nephilim cyanites to the Arctic's Greenlandite, these icy landscapes are far from barren. They are rich, diverse, and full of surprises. We hope you have enjoyed this chilling journey through the icy landscapes of the Arctic and Antarctic, unearthing the hidden geological wonders beneath these frozen expanses. But our exploration doesn't have to end here. If you're as captivated by these stories of ancient rocks and mesmerizing minerals as we are, you won't want to miss what's coming next. Our upcoming videos will dive even deeper into the fascinating world of geology, taking you on a virtual tour of the world's most spectacular mineral formations, from the scorching heat of the Sahara Desert to the depths of the Pacific Ocean. So if you haven't already, we invite you to join our community of explorers by hitting the subscribe button. Not only will you gain access to a treasure trove of educational and entertaining content, but you'll also be the first to know when we release new videos. Remember, the journey is just beginning. There's a whole world of geological wonders waiting to be discovered. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for more fascinating explorations. The adventure continues.